What's up guys? Welcome back. Nick up here at Maple Motors in Hendersonville, Tennessee in today's test drive. This 1965 Mustang Fastback. This one has more of a green tint to the silver paint job. Lots of metal flake in it. Got another one sitting over here. So we got two test drives going out. You can see the difference in the color. That one's a little bit lighter of the gray. This one's got the 289. This one doesn't have power steering or power brakes. But we'll be taking it down the road, pointing out any kind of flaws so you know exactly what you're getting before you get here. So hit subscribe, share this video. That helps me out quite a bit. Go to maplemotors.com for financing and shipping, detailed pictures, and every Monday we put out new rides. For now, sit back, relax, because it's about that time. Let's go for a ride. Before we take off, a look around the interior, check everything out. So on this one, it's got like a kill switch below the dash here. You gotta pull that out and it cuts the ignition on, you know, all the lights and stuff. Definitely a cold start on this one. Uh, I went ahead and did the walk around video about an hour and a half ago and I came back from lunch. That's the first time I've started it up. We're gonna stop and get a little bit of fuel because we're at a quarter tank. Showing 17,000 miles, but I can't stand behind that in a 65 model. Place your bets on the horn. Do you think the horn works? That's a little game we like to play here on the channel. This one's got some nice seats, decent carpet, good seat belts, back seat looks good. Headliner in this one's in decent shape too. You got some rips on both sides. Across the dash here, it's in good shape too. Blower motor in this one's not doing anything. Radio, is it doing anything? Not cutting on. Wipers, working. Working good. Turn signals. I think our turn signal switch has got a little bit of an issue here. You can see it blinking on the dash. It's just random. Okay. Horns, you place your bets. Nothing I do makes that horn honk. Let's take off and see how she runs and drives. All right, guys, gonna take off down the road now. Anything I see, you'll know about. Of course, towards the end of the video, you'll get the full walk around inspection. Let's take off, guys. Okay, this is the first time I've driven this ride. station the speedometer is already coming up brakes are stopping you don't feel too bad Okay, we got $11 worth of fuel in this. This thing is full. That gas gauge is inaccurate. So, let's go ahead and take off and we'll keep this video rolling. Undercarriage shots, outside shots, 
head back to the lot detailed walk around give it a little gas here Okay, getting ready to roll out of here. Got y'all set up on the GoPro 8. And right now it's uh, all good. I gotta watch for that glitch. There's like a little glitch thing because it's 100 degrees outside so the camera's kind of, yeah, it's up and down. Uh, turn that switch on. Try again. Okay, let's take off here. y'all are straight heading on back to the lot now after this picking out the flaws still got that left pull Suspension on this one's not too bad. brakes again feel like manual brakes but they're stopping good
Hey guys, I'm right around the corner from Maple Motors. So hang tight, we're getting ready to skip over picking out the flaws. If you're new to the channel, hit subscribe, and I'll see you in the next video. Later. Okay, we're gonna walk around this ride, point out any kind of flaws so you know exactly what you're getting before you get here. Detail pictures, maplemotors.com. Let's get started. Coming up on the front bumper on this one, it's got a little bit of pitting. Some light scratches popping up here. Around the grill, got a couple little chips, a little overspray on top there. The front end some bugs down there down this side up and over the fender got some bubbles popping up on the door here and some holes where the trim was sitting before Back that mid section. Door handles in good shape. Love the paint on this one. A beautiful paint job. A little spot there. Front window on this one is in good shape. The trim looks good and the seal has been replaced. Except for on your vent windows where the seal is older. A little bit of pitting around your trim around that vent window. Going across the top of the door here. Trim looks good around the door on top here. Down in the dip does have some light cracks. Over your roof. A spot there. Back window on this one's nice and clean. The trim looks good. Right. Okay. Up over the trunk here. In good shape. Looking at your back bumper, it's got some pitting. Your gas cap, a little hazy there. Tail lights look nice and clean. Imperfections there on some of the chrome. Also on this side. Coming back down the driver's side of the car. Tires get shape up and over the fender here. Got a little crack right there in the paint. Chip here. spot down in the bottom paint runs you got a couple uh, rust bubbles popping up in the door holes from your trim Little spot there on the stripe rust bubbles in the front of the door here you see them popping through Open over Some tires on the front look good back your midsection Door handle on this one looks good. Back up over the top. Little spot there. It's 
imperfections there in the louvers. Little dry cracks around your vent window there. Little gap here. Looking over your front window on this one. It's in good shape, trim looks good, and seal is good up over the roof. Nice and clean. So, I actually haven't started this one up at all today. I open it up, shove the keys in it, pop the hood. We haven't opened the trunk yet. I'm gonna see what's up with that. I thought about that just now. I was like, hey, I ain't even started this car. We're gonna have a cold start here. Seal on the trunk is in good shape. Uh, it needs to be tacked up there on the bottom. Your jam looks good, nice and clean. Down in your trunk, solid. A little bit of Sorry, moisture here, a little water. Uh, you got a little water on this side too. To you can see where the fender has been fixed in the back. Here, up in your package tray. Pretty clean. Let's go ahead and shut down the trunk lid here. Shuts easy. Let's go ahead and start her up. We'll check out the interior too. So you can see it's got new carpet. The seats are in great shape. They're not all tore up. Pretty nice. Door panel looks great. Trim around the edges, or your, your seal around the edges is in good shape too. Up under the bottom of the door. Jump it on in here. Doesn't look too bad. Around the interior. Showing 17,000 miles, hard to stand behind that, especially in a 65 model. This one, they said that there was a switch. I think that's your on switch there. Hey, Jeff, that's the only switch, right? It's the first time I started this car. Yeah, the one you pull out underneath the ignition. Yeah. Okay. That's it. Let's try it out. And guys, this is a true cold start. I actually haven't started it at all. I know we're at the end of the video. It's kind of confusing, but I went ahead and did it because we got two of them. I like them together. Can't get the blower motor to do anything. Got some broken trim down here at the bottom. This side's just a little faded where it used to be red. Headliner in this one looks good. Do have a hole on this side. I'll have the gauge going over throughout the video. I'm sure you've already seen that. Air cleaner's a bit loose. on down with the hood a little bit of a gap over here where it can be adjusted out this section pretty close I think it just needs to go over a hair 
That's it. Guys, I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, hit subscribe, share, hit like. We're going to be doing test drives throughout the whole week. We do this every week, and on Mondays, we put out new inventory. Go to MapleMotors.com, finance and shipping, detail pictures, and hit subscribe because that helps me out. I appreciate it. We'll see you later.